Amen. Good morning. How are you this morning? Well, I hope you're fine. But by the grace of God, I'm all right. I am highly favored by the grace of God. I have a word for you this morning. You ready? It's in the book of Jeremiah. Looking at it right now. We're going to start from verse 2. Promise you that you're going to be blessed by this word. Now, Jeremiah was a prophet of God. And how do you know the difference between the prophet of God and a, and a false prophet? The prophet of God will preach and teach the law of God. But the false prophet, they will make you feel good about yourself. But not about God. You got the difference? The false prophet is more after tickling your ear. They preach more sugary messages but the prophet of god will teach you his laws how not to fall into temptation how not to fall into sin how to serve the lord to offer yourself as a sacrifice to the lord to please god because you got to remember the word of god is the law of god any prophet pastors preachers evangelists teachers apostles so-called if they're not preaching you the law of God, they're not preaching the word of God. Ah, you didn't know that, did you? Now, let's go to this book right now that you're looking at. I'm going to prove it to you. you. Ready? It says in verse 2, Thus saith the Lord. Who's speaking here? The Lord. It's not a man. It's not Jeremiah. Jeremiah is just a prophet that God is using to speak his word. You got it? So a, a man of God should be speaking God's words, not his own word. In our days, we have all these men. All they're doing is self-gratification and self-exaltation. They're only speaking about their degrees and themselves. They are self-absorbed. They are narcissists. They only focus about themselves. They self-love. They love themselves so much. So they speak about their degrees, you know, how many uh, Greek words and Hebrew words they know and how they can exegesis a text. You know, how, how, how many uh, hermeneutics they know. They, you know, they only speak about themselves, but they don't speak about Jesus Christ. But Jeremiah, the prophet here, is delivering the message, the word of God. So he said, thus said the Lord in the court of of the Lord's of the Lord's house and speak unto all the cities of Judah which come to worship in the Lord's house all the words that I commend thee to speak unto them diminish not a word so God gave Jeremiah a command right now to go to the Lord's house to speak to the people now what did Jeremiah speak to the people. Let's follow. Verse 3. If so be they will hearken, if they will listen, and turn every man from his evil way. So he sent Jeremiah to tell the people to turn from what? From their evil way. Okay. In Jeremiah's day, a lot of people were doing a lot of evil stuff. What is evil in front of God? Evil is anything that is contrary to the, to the law of God. When you transgress the law of God. Perfect example of uh, the law of God. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not murder. God hates divorce. God say uh, when a man sleeps with a man is abomination. When a man sleeps uh, uh, with, uh, with somebody's wife, it's adultery. When a woman sleeps with a woman, it's abomination. When a woman sleeps with a beast, it's abomination. He said they shall be both put to death. So all those things are sins before God. So God sent Jeremiah to do what? To turn the people from their evil way. Now in our days, we have a lot of evil stuff going on, right? We have LGBT, PQ. We have uh, 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 the gay pride. We have a lot of fornication, adultery, murder, uh, liars, gossipers. You have a lot of stuff going on in the world, 
But you never hear any of these preachers who call themselves men of God, women of God, but they are silent on every subject. That's how you know that they are not from God. I don't care if they are the most popular preachers, preachers of L.A. I don't call them preachers. I call them pimps because that's what they are doing. They are not doing the work of God. A man of God or a woman of God that's doing the, the work of God, they teach the law of God. They speak about the law of God because once you violate the word of God, the law of God, his command, your violation, your punishment, your consequence is going to be in hell. So that's why God always sent his ministers and prophets and apostles and teachers to do what? To teach his people his laws so that they will not perish. So let's go back to verse 3. So he said to tell them to turn from the evil way that I may repent me of the evil. So God doesn't want to punish, me, punish them if they turn from their evil way but if they don't god will punish his people some people think just because they are uh because god is their god he will not punish them yes he will so to continue he said which i purpose to do unto them because of the evil of their doings god does not love your evil doings whatever it is and we have a lot of that in the united states and all over the world let's continue to verse four and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord, If you will not hearken to me to walk in my law. You see it? To walk in what? In my law, which I have set before you. His word is his law. That's why people who do not read the Bible, they do not know God. They do not know his laws. They think thinking grace is a, is a license to sin. It's a license to fornicate. That's why many people right now, they go to church on Sunday, but last night on Saturday night, they were in a club or Friday night. They were in a club right after church. They go fornicate right after church. They go smoke cigarettes right after church. They go drink beer, liquor right after church. They go out with their girlfriend, they're shacking up or they live with, a, with somebody that is not their wives. You understand? Because they are lost. They don't know the law of God. And these false preachers, false prophets, false apostles, false bishops that are running these churches, they are not preaching the law of God. They only want your money. And some of them are ignorant. And But some of them, they just don't care. It's just a business for them. They just give you some music. They have a choir. They make you dance, and then they take the money out of your pocket. They say, see you next week. So it's like a drug. The people are never changed. They're still the same. They never became a new creature in Christ, just like it says in uh, 2 Corinthians 5.17. So they're still the same. They never change. Their heart never changed. Although they're singing with their lips, but their heart are far away from God. So what did God say in verse 4? To walk, to tell them to do what? To walk in my law, which I have set before them. That's what God cares about. The law of God is for the whole world, my friend. It's for the politician. Even the Apostle Paul was uh, talking to King Agrippa. He was trying to persuade him to become a Christian. People were talking about uh, separation between church and, and, and state. That's a lie in the Bible. Even the Apostle Paul, God brought them before the kings to preach gospels to them. King Herod was the one who, 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 uh, who gave up um, uh, John the Baptist when he got his head cu cut. You understand what I'm saying? So that means the preacher is supposed to do this kind of work of God to preach the law of God to the world. God's doctrine. But instead they compromise. You see, the TV, the, the media, all those things belongs to the devil. You can tell they're working for the devil because they never preach against sin, against sodomy, against the wickedness of these politicians. They will not because they are working for them. 
That's why they speak nice words to them. Sugary messages, not salt, not the doctrine of God, not the law of God against sin. That's how you know they are fake. So verse 5 says what? To hearken to the words of my servant, the prophet, whom I sent unto you, both rising up early in the morning, sending them, but you have not hearkened. Then I will, verse 6, then I will make this house like Shiloh and will make the city a curse to all the nations of the earth. You see the difference? So God's words, my friend, is to speak his law. Then when the people cannot obey the law, you offer them the Lord Jesus Christ. You preach the gospel to them. You tell them you have a savior who is the Lord Jesus Christ that can help you. You must repent of your sin. Then, when you repent of your sin, God will give you, be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And then you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Then the Holy Spirit will guide them to a life so that they can know the difference between what is clean and what is unclean. The difference between holiness and unholiness. That way the person will, eyes will be open. They'll know what not to do and what to do. Sin is the biggest problem of the world, my friend. If you are shacking up, you're doing everything wrong, and you think that you're going to make it to heaven, you are wrong. That's why a lot of people, after they die, they were living an evil, wicked, nasty, drunken life. But after the person died, that preacher think they can pray them up to heaven. It won't happen. If that person die in the state of sin, they go to hell straight. That's why we need preachers to speak the word of God like Jeremiah the prophet. And I'm going to stop right there. If you have any comment, just write them down below. If you have any question, also write them down in the comment. God bless you. May God keep you. Know that the word of God is the law of God. And if you obey them, God will bless you. If you break them, God will punish you in hell. But if you cannot obey them, the Lord Jesus Christ can help you. The Bible says in 2 Chronicles verse 7, I think 7, 14, it says, If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray, so first you need to humble yourself when you come before God and then you pray. And if you seek his face and then turn from your wicked ways. See, you got to do that. This is the, 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 the pattern of prayer. Humble yourself, pray, seek his face, turn. You have to turn from something. You can't just live your life and, and think that you can be sinning. You call yourself, oh, yeah, uh, you're a sinner. And you just, no, 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 no. You have to turn from your wicked way. That's something you have to do. God's promises are yea and amen. They are unconditional. But yours is conditional, my friend. You must keep the part of your covenant, the part of your contract. If, that's why it says, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will heal them. He will heal you from heaven after you turn from your wicked ways. That means you show that you love him. Then he will forgive you. You'll, you'll be saved. But if you're playing Russian roulette, you're mocking sin, you're mocking God, you're playing games with the Lord, you will perish, my friend. God bless you. God keep you. I just pray and hope that you make the right decision and follow after the Lord Jesus Christ. And see you in the next video.